What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to type my name, then this box pops up, and here you can edit your text. What's happening guys? My name is Alex and as you guys can see I switched from HitFilm to Premiere because actually guys I was setting up you know HitFilm and recording when just fucking it was just a joke it was just shit. I've seen some requests from people asking like dude can you please make a video. So in the first tutorial of Premiere and actually LTJ official you know you've, you've seen him like doing illustrated tutorials on Saturday he's, he's gonna take over this series in a, in a few episodes like maybe like the third and the fourth and then he's just gonna continue the series. So in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to make an intro like really simple I would say let's jump right into the video. <laughs> Alrighty then, so as you guys can see we are in Premiere and not in After Effects and right now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really simple intro so I'm just gonna show you guys how to add some text, how to add like a boom like a sound effect on it. That is basically gonna be a really simple intro. So the first thing you wanna do to get text is you wanna go to this, you know, this space and you want to right click, you want to click on new item and you want to click on title. So I'm just gonna give this a name which is just called text, I'm gonna call it that, I'm gonna click on OK, then this box pops up and here you can edit your text. So I'm going to show you guys how to you know add text in this in this screen in this box it works kind of the same like Sony Vegas but there are like there are a few differences so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this T icon boom and I'm going to place it random right here what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to type my name in a really weird font but that doesn't matter there's nothing on the preview screen left because we're gonna we're gonna do that in a second so first of all you can choose like you know how big you want it as you can see you can drag it bigger if you want to I'm just gonna put it like this boom and if you say like Alex this is not centered at all and like you can see like I, but how do I center it well it's really simple guys you don't need to like put your nose against the screen and say like this is in the middle and this is in the middle it's really simple guys the only thing you want to do you just want to right click on it you want to click on position and you want to click on this one horizontal one and you want to also go to back to position and you want to pick the vertical one and boom don't touch it and there you can see this is centered so so you're actually done on this part but um, the thing is, you can you can change your font to multiple different fonts. I don't know how many fonts you have on your PC, um, but you can change it like all the kinds of different fonts, like this, like that, like that, like that. You can just click on the fonts down below. So I'm gonna say, okay, um, I'm just gonna go back to the first one. So you're actually done on that part. I mean, if you want to add more text, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm done, so I'm gonna X this out, close this out, and as you can see, like Alex, where is the freaking text? I don't see anything on the screen. Well, guys, you need to drag this text file. Onto your, onto your timeline. As you can see, there's nothing in your timeline, but as you can see in the left corner at the bottom, you have your text. So you, the only thing you wanna do is you want to drag that in. You can see a little box popping up, like there we have our text. So actually to make it longer and stuff, you can just drag it versus you know, Sony Vegas, you know, go sit on the edge and just drag it how long you want it. And I don't know, I mean, I'm gonna show you guys like how to like add sound effects and how to, like, how to add like an explosion, like boom. And when the text appears on the sound effect. I am going to show you guys how to do that. So actually the first thing you want to do is to make a few seconds you know of the, of the intro like completely black and you just want you want to move this box a little bit to the right as you can see so when I play it back it takes a few seconds to get there and I'm going to put it like like right there and I'm gonna just show you guys how to make an explosion like boom on the text as you can see I'm just gonna show you guys how to add an explosion on that so you have boom your intro and it's really basic guys I know but I just wanted to start with something you know little more simple than it for the first video um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is right now I just have my text as you can see I can drag it wherever I want it so what I'm going to do now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna find for an explosion so I will see you guys actually when I have everything done and I'll find an explosion so I'll, I'll see you guys in a few seconds a few moments later okay so as you guys can see we have the purple one text on top and this blue is actually um, the sound so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, play back this uh, like this video and I'm gonna see what I have so far and then I'm gonna match up the text with the sound as you can see so I'm going to match it up so let's see what it's you know what it looks when I have just you know everything like this and also a quick side note how to zoom in your timeline really simply you don't want to hold alt and you want to scroll up and down and then you can zoom in hold alt and you can zoom in and you scroll up and that's basically how you can zoom so I'm going to like hear what it sounds like so far so I'm going to move this one to a bit right here and see how it looks all right, you have the text, and then the explosion. But as you can see, this is not matched at all. So I'm just going to go back to the timeline at the beginning, and I'm going to hold Alt and scroll up, and I'm going to match up those two 
until they are completely together on the same track as you can see right here. So as you can see it looks really good so I'm going to play back it like again. Awesome. And as, as you guys can see, this text, even if the explosion is done like this, as you can see, the text just continues. To avoid that, it's really simple. You want to zoom out by holding Alt and scroll down. And you want to shorten this until it's how you want it. So I'm just going to make, like, make it shorter, shorter, shorter. This is basically how you edit. So as you guys can see, I'm just going at the beginning of the timeline. And I'm going to actually make the text shorter where I want it to end. So. That looks really good, and that is basically how you made a, how you make a really simple intro, guys. And there's nothing more to tell you. Just add in the sound effect, add in the text. Okay, what? Well, that is basically how simple it is. That's how you make an intro. It's really simple. So I don't know, guys. There's nothing more to tell you. That is simple, this guys. That is how you make a really simple intro, guys. I know, like more advanced stuff is coming soon. I just, I just, I don't want to, like, you know, like start doing something crazy in like episode one. That's how you make an intro, guys. It's really simple. And make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos. And also subscribe down below for more content. Actually, so you get an email anytime I upload. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I can't even explain. I'm so freaking happy. This is like so. I'm here with Bjorn today. I'm gonna go to the uh, like this Belgian Dutch YouTube. This is the second update, and I declined respectfully. Like, dude, reacting small videos. Awesome that you guys want to do this new video, and this is not gonna be a part tutorial as usual. It's Tuesday. It's a new video for you guys. Alex, what do we need to do to join or participate in the giveaway? And how are you gonna pick the winner? 